When we begin to furnish our house and start to use textures, we're going to be using the 3D warehouse. Under the materials window, you might not find something that you want to use in your house, and maybe you want to search for a texture that's not here already. And obviously, you're going to have to be looking for components or different objects to put in your house to show what the different rooms do. In a drawing, we would normally just draw that in, but because we're doing a model, we need to actually bring in some of those things to communicate what room they are. When you open the components icon, you're going to see two buttons at the top. The one on the left is the home or in model icon. There's also one in the materials window too. Basically that shows you whatever material or whatever object is already in the house. The button to the right is the 3D warehouse. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to look for a toilet. Now I can just type in toilet, you can see I get a wide variety of different kinds of toilets. There's 561 and I would have to really search a lot for it. But in this case, I would like to look for a particular brand and that brand is Kohler. A lot of companies actually have their products modeled up already for use in SketchUp because that way designers can use them. So I'm going to use this Kohler toilet here. It's kind of modern and goes with my house. I'm going to double click it. It's going to load into my model should show up in a few minutes. Remember that sometimes it can take a little while for a model to show up, so just be patient. I'm going to click. There it is. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this toilet because it is facing the wrong direction. So I'm going to use the move tool and select the rotate tool, snap it on the up arrow, click, pull away, and turn 90 degrees. Now I'm going to navigate over to the area where I want to bring this toilet. One of the issues when you're working in SketchUp is sometimes when you're in tight spaces, it can be really difficult to navigate around because you have to zoom in some tight quarters. There's a trick to being able to do this a little bit easier. What I suggest is kind of zooming in so you can definitely see the area that you want to bring the object in. Grab the object. In this case, I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to grab the object by the corner. Remember, it's always easier to move the object from the corner to the corner. That way I can kind of make sure that it is where I want it. I'm going to put that there if it stops moving. And now I'm going to zoom in a little so that I can see where it is. Let's see. I'm going to just bring it back here and I'm going to bring it across. Now this toilet, if I look at it, I think it's a little small for this space and maybe not the right height. So I'm going to use the scale tool to try and fix that. The scale tool is located underneath the move tool and it's the third one down. And when I click on this, I get some handles and if I want to scale this to make it bigger, I have to go and click to the corner and do opposite sides and that looks better to me in terms of the size. Now I'm going to get out of that and it looks like I have to bring it away from the wall a little. So I'm going to click the move tool. You can also click the M letter for the move tool. And I'm just going to bring that away from the wall a little bit. That's a little bit more realistic. And I'll maybe move it over just a hair. Now sometimes the, the perspective here is pretty good for, for working. But I did want to show you quickly how you can change your field of view in order to make your space a little wider to look at. That is located here under scenes. When you first open this window, you might not see it right away. Make sure you click the down arrow here and you can see that my scene right now, now or my field of view is 58. So I can make that smaller or I can make it bigger and that can help me get into spaces that I maybe otherwise couldn't see what was going on. So this is a really helpful little tool to know about, especially when you're trying to place furniture and work with things, as you can see. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you're working with things in the warehouse. I'm going to look for some tall grasses because I think I want to use some of that around my house. So here are some grasses with a person in it. So I'm going to load this in. When you bring things like this in from the warehouse, 
sometimes they come in grouped like this. Anchor it in your model, click away from it, and then click on it with the pointer tool. Right click and explode the model. Now you can see that it's actually made up of uh, four or five clumps of grasses and the guy. Click away and then select what you want to get rid of, then move what you would like to use into position. Keep in mind that a lot of the warehouse pieces are often grouped like this. 